They say a recession is coming in 2024 that could turn millionaires into spectators, and the Magnificent Seven stocks just might be the main culprits that are leading us all off a financial cliff. Getting set for a recession in the United States, and if that happens, when do you expect the policy pivot to take place? But really, the elephant in the room for me is the Fed. Investors waking up this morning to a recession warning from the bond markets. The Dow plunging more than 800 points. Look at the outlook here. This is a good time or bad time to invest. I'll cut to the chase here and say this is one of the largest gaps between. A brutal day on Wall Street stocks plunging as a yield curve inverted, sparking fears that a recession could be on its way. The U.S., however, we think is probably likely headed to a recession towards the end of this year, start of 2024. Picture this, it's 2024 and the stock market's in free fall. Are your investments ready to face the music when the economic tune changes? You've seen the news, read the articles and heard the chatter. But what's the real scoop? Well, the word on the street is that a recession could be knocking on our door as soon as next year. And if history has taught us anything, it's that the market's mood swings can turn fortunes faster than a flip of a coin. Now let's talk about the big cheese, Jeffrey Gundlach. This guy's the investment world's equivalent of a fortune teller, except he reads financial reports instead of tea leaves. He's looking at things like the treasury bond yield curve doing a gymnastics routine and flipping upside down. For those scratching their heads, that's investor speak for troubles brewing. And when consumer confidence starts to wobble like a Jenga tower, and unemployment rates creep up like a shadow in a thriller movie, you know it's time to pay attention. Gundlach's crystal ball is showing some foggy forecasts for the Federal Reserve's interest rates. He's betting they'll have to drop the rates to give the economy a breather. Is as overvalued as stocks are by historical comparisons using the S&P as a proxy, thanks to the meddling by the government, uh, they're actually cheap to bonds. And here's the kicker. The U.S. government's got a tab running with interest expenses that's skyrocketing. And if rates continue to stay sky high, we're all in for a bumpy landing. Let's shift gears to the Magnificent Seven, the stocks that have been living the high life during the bull market. You know their names. Alphabet, Amazon, Apple, Meta, Microsoft, Nvidia, and Tesla. The big dogs, these high flyers, have been the darlings of the stock market and the talk of the town. But if Gunlock's right, their party might be over sooner than anyone expected. Why? Because high interest rates are like kryptonite to these super stocks. And with the Fed playing hardball, they're looking less super by the minute. Speaking of interest rates, let's drop a truth bomb with a little wisdom from the Oracle of Omaha himself, Warren Buffett. He says, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. And right now, with everyone's eyes glued to those magnificent seven, it might be time to get a little fearful. Or at least start thinking about a game plan. What's the game plan, Kevin? It's all about reading the signs and staying one step ahead. We're talking about those economic indicators that are as telling as a spoiler alert. The inverted yield curve, for instance, is like a plot twist that's predicted every recession since the 60s. And when you've got a track record like that, you don't ignore it. You study it, understand it, and plan your next move. But before we get to those moves, let's take a moment to talk about what all this means for the average Joe and Jane. When the big R word hits the headlines, it's not just the fat cats who feel the pinch. It's everyone from the corner store owner to the college grad just starting out. Uh, sorry for stopping your video, but you really should subscribe. High interest rates mean loans get pricier, credit card bills get scarier, and those dreams of buying a home? Well, they might just have to wait. All right, we've set the stage for what could be the financial thriller of the year. This isn't a spectator small. It's your money, your future, and your story. And in our next segment, We'll be talking strategy, how to protect your portfolio, spot the opportunities, and maybe even come out ahead when the credits roll on 2024. So now that you know a little bit about inverted yield curves and high interest rates, your mindset needs to be one of, we're not just going to survive this recession, we're going to thrive. But how? How? By being smart, agile, and a little bit daring. First up, let's talk defense. It's like setting up a fortress around your cash. 
making sure it's safe from the siege of the recession. You've got to diversify. Diversifying smart. Spread out your bets so that if one stock takes a nosedive, you're not going down with it. Think of it like a heist movie where the crew splits up to cover all the exits. Some go for bonds, others for stocks, and a few might even stash some gold under the floorboards. Diversification is your getaway car when the market goes south. Now for the offense. When the market's down, it's shopping time for the bargain hunters. That's right, some stocks are like vintage finds in a thrift shop. They're undervalued, overlooked, and ripe for the picking. Remember what Ray Dalio said, the two biggest drivers of earnings are interest rates and growth. So, you keep an eye out for those companies that have solid growth prospects even when the economy's playing hard to get. They're the ones that'll bounce back like a champ. You know that bonus scene after the credits that you didn't see coming but can't stop talking about? Here's where we drop the golden nugget of wisdom. Okay, please, drop the nugget. Alternative investments. We're talking real estate, commodities. Heck, even some cryptocurrency if you're feeling adventurous. These are the plays that can zig when the market zags, giving you an edge when everyone else is running for the hills. And let's not forget about cash. Cash is king, queen, and the royal court when the economy hits a rough patch. It's your wild card. The ace up our sleeve. That lets you call the shots when prices fall. So keep a stash ready for when the sale sign goes up on Wall Street. Now let's circle back to where we started the magnificent seven stocks. They've had a good run, but if the recession hits like a storm, even the mightiest ships can sink. It's a reminder to always be ready to adjust your sails, to navigate through choppy waters, and to keep your eyes on the horizon for the next opportunity. If you liked this video about money and stocks, you're gonna love the one suggested on your screen, so go check it out now.